Hi, this is Jeff from the IT department here to give you a demonstration on how to set up your own V slider for your WordPress page. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I'm on the IT homepage here, and you can see here's a demonstration of one V slider. This particular one scrolls through a bunch of graphics, and it has a title and basically a, well, a header and some text. And as you see, as I roll my cursor over it, we can click on particular links and it takes you to a page. So it's good for sort of suggestive selling any type of pages that you want, especially if you have a large site as we do. As you can see, here's all of our pages for our site. So it's easy to get lost. You can scroll through your V slider here. If you don't want to wait, this one's set for a five second scroll. And you don't have to have them this advanced either. The other example that I have is one that admissions set up. Basically, it's showing just pictures. It'll scroll through every five seconds, or you can speed it up yourself to see the different pictures they have set up. Uh, this one, obviously, is for their Discover Your Future. And it just kind of goes through different uh, pictures about their island magic and luau show that they had recently. So, like I said, there's a couple of different ways you can use this. You can use it just to simply display graphics for a particular page, or you can use them to suggest a sell uh, maybe a news item or a, a page or something that you want to promote on your website, whatever it may be. So basically to get this started, uh, the first thing I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you go to our homepage, which is eou.edu slash it slash WordPress, and open up the WordPress training manual here if you click on this link. And when you do that, I want you to scroll down to page 30. This is in our advanced section, how to set up a V slider. Uh, for your WordPress website. And I give you the same two examples that I've just shown you here. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the dashboard, click on plugins on your site, and I'm actually going to do this in another site. Um, let's say I want to set this up in the budget and planning committee website. So the first thing you have to do is go to your plugins and you have to activate it. So we're going to go here. And we're gonna, then you'll see V slider here. And basically, all you have to do is activate the plugin for it to work. So we've activated it. You can deactivate it again if you don't want to use it, but we're going to activate it. And by activating it, it creates another uh, menu option for your dashboard. So we can go edit, or we can just go to V slider. It'll tell you the options. But here you can add a new V slider. So we're going to call this one fake and add it. And then from there, you'll want to click Edit. And editing the particular, uh, you'll see there's a bunch of options. Now, if you go back to the training manual page, I'm going to scroll down for you a bit. On this page, I give you a list of settings you'll want to start out with. You'll want to basically copy these settings into here, which most of them are pretty much the same. Uh, just to kind of get started, so you get comfortable doing it. So it basically creates an effect uh, for either page, for this or for the IT page that I showed you earlier. So copy these images or copy these settings into your V slider for now. Now, the one rule about V sliders is that you want all of your pictures to be the same size. And in this particular example, we're going with pictures that are 630 pixels in width and 280 in height. So obviously you want to use Photoshop to resize your photos so they all fit that criteria. Once you get them done, you can add them here. And there's a couple different ways to do this. The, the best way to do this, in fact, I'm going to go to the IT site to show you how we did ours. So if we go to vSlider, this is our home slider. That's the one I just showed you. And I'll go to the edit section. And here I have five different images that we have set. If you click on those, here I have uploaded, and you can upload it from this link too. I have uploaded five, all of these images to our media library within our site. So obviously you're going to uh, scroll back up here to your media library and just add them here. But I've added them and I've copied the URL to paste here. Now, if you want just a simple V slider that just shows pictures, that's all you have to do is just add the link 
You don't have to worry about adding any of this and save your settings. But if you want this V slider to function, like we have the example in, in IT, if you want it to suggest a cell a particular site, you click on it and it takes you to a page. The next thing you want to do is add where you want the when they click on the page when they click on the picture where they want it to go. So here we have this listed as this particular picture. When they click on it, it goes to the IT help desk. And then we list the heading text and then the description text. And then you save the setting. And you just repeat this for every graphic that you want. Now the last thing you have to do is to add the particular uh, v slider that you created to your to your home page and to do that if you go back to the training manual in number six you'll see that I have some code listed that you're gonna need to copy and edit so obviously this one's for a fake example you're gonna put the name of your actual v slider I'm gonna show you where we inserted ours in IT so here's our header and here's our v slider graphic if we edit this page and we view it in the HTML section you can see that I have the code inserted right here ours is called IT home slider you're gonna edit the name in between the quotations to whatever you named your V slider and then hit update and that's pretty much it uh, if you have any questions please contact the help desk our phone number is 541-962-3111 or you can send us an email at helpdesk at eu.edu Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you later.